I would not call a conscientious objector a coward. My thoughts on conscientious objection is the freedom to make that choice to either not uh, participate in the draft uh, as my hero Muhammad Ali did. Um, I disagree with the description of council objectors being cowards. During the Vietnam War especially many people did because they felt it was an unjust war that they didn't want to kill or die for. I believe staying with your principles doesn't make you a coward, it makes you stand by your principles. Okay, I think conscientious objectors are great, whatever war, and um, I think Muhammad Ali was a brave guy for doing what he did way back when. Thank you. Uh, yes, I would definitely not consider someone who um, was a conscientious objector to be a coward because I feel that that person is standing up for what they truly believe in their heart and soul. And I think that in this world where we're pressured to follow example or follow um, you know, what people tell us we should do, that people who are willing to stand up for what they truly believe in, especially in the name of not killing someone, I think that's a brave step, not a cowardly one. Okay, whether I agree with them or not, we do live in America where you're supposed to have the right to a lot of things that we're losing our rights to. And uh, like I say, whether I agree with it or not, I think it's a personal decision. I think that the term conscientious objector, there's a powerful piece that when you look at the word conscientious, and it means that someone has put a lot of thought into it and they're not just making a snap decision. If this is where they, what they feel, then it's something to be respected. They're looking at what they believe very strongly, and will many religious groups, the Quakers, um, you know, etc., have had this following. So many who have chosen that path over the years have decided to become a medic or do something else. I believe people should be able to conscientiously object to going to war, or not. I think that uh, the uh, ability to be a conscientious objector is really important. If people don't believe in war, I think it's very important that they have an alternative way to be uh, the obligation to I know a number of people who have been conscientious and uh, respect their reasons for that. Many Quaker people that I know are conscientious and uh, And uh, I'm assuming you're talking about with regard to war and serving the military. Is that correct? Uh, there are times when the country, people feel that the country might be headed in the wrong direction. And that's a reason to be a conscientious objective. There are also people who believe that war is wrong. Uh, they should not be required to uh, serve values. That's not fun. I have a friend who is a conscientious objector, and I do not think he is a coward. I think it's a valuable thing to do. Ideally, uh, there wouldn't be wars, and um, it's important for uh, people who really believe strongly in that to stand up for that uh, point of view. Uh, it's uh, obviously not a good thing for uh, people to go around killing other people, and um, yeah, I think that's a yeah, good thing. I, uh, I think it's a, I think it's a human right to be a conscientious objector if you object to war and if it's against your beliefs to, to, to commit acts of violence and killing. 
Um, there are, we often get caught up in patriotism and other things um, that prey on our fears and insecurities. But there are higher laws in the universe and everyone has a right to choose whether or not they want to belong to um, that type of thing. 